Well, hello everybody. My name is Sarah and welcome to Sarah's Kitchen. So today I want to show you what I went to get to the, uh, from the market because I love buying my groceries from the market and uh, they are always so fresh and uh, here we always go to the market maybe on Wednesdays or Saturdays. And uh, in our house we love, uh, uh, we love these, um, they are called Managu in Kiswahili and uh, night black shed in English and they are traditional vegetables. We love them in this house. We love them and the tereres. Yeah, terere is a uh, pigweed. Yes, so there is some terere here. A little bit of terere here. Here is very fresh from the market. Uh, approximately, I use them um, how much because terere I bought. 150 shillings for all these like but usually when there is rain and we have a lot of a lot of a lot of um zinaitwaje these are bogas they are very cheap in the market because i can get a, a whole bag at 100. uh so i thought i should get some butternuts some people call them squash don't mind about my hand oh um butternuts uh i bought these butternuts at uh, 250 but usually when there are lots of them in the market we usually get this at uh, around 100 but as you know it hasn't been draining so we there is scarcity in food things like that these are popos i have a little baby she's about six months and she loves, loves, loves popos. So this, uh, this one is a kilo, one kilo of popo at 80 shillings. And I have my coriander, dania, very, very fresh. So my danias, um, a bunch goes for 70 shillings. So because I don't like a lot of coriander in my food, I don't cook all my food using coriander. I ask the seller to to garnish her, to sell for me half of it which was 35 shillings and here are my avocados oh my god i love avocados like all my meals i eat with avocado <laughs> yes i love avocados so these avocados are going for um, tatumbao three for 20 shillings but uh, the, for these three these these and these i bought them each at 15 shillings but the rest i bought them at tatumbao three for 20 shillings and i have my vitungu yay i bought one kilo was going for 40 shillings so i had to get two kilos uh of which uh, vitungu they are somehow expensive now because it hasn't been raining but uh, this man sells his vitungus at a very affordable price unlike others who sell for a hundred shillings one kg in the same market so he's not that expensive he's uh, yani, his uh, prices are very friendly and we have tangerine sandara uh tatumbao yes tatumbao tatumbao and uh three for 20 shillings for those that don't understand my language oh lemon i love lemon i love drinking lemon water every morning and i love lemon because i use lemon for baking and cooking sometimes so the lemons are going for four four for 20 shillings so meaning one is five shillings yes the oranges i got for tatumbao today is like i was buying everything tatumbao tatumbao yes so i got some oranges because my son loves oranges i have a two-year-old son and um my nephew also is around he's three years and he loves oranges like he has already eaten some oranges from here yes and uh carrots carrots were going for 80 bob one kg and we have this sweet potatoes and ndoma I don't know if ndoma, uh, if ndomas are the arms or they are what. So you have to explain to me if you know the name of ndoma, ndoma in uh, English. Uh, 
write me a comment because me I usually call them yam but someone told me that they are not yams so I don't know what they are because me I know them as yams and uh, so I love yellow beans they were they were going for 140 shillings initially we were buying them at 120 but according to the economy of Kenya things have really gone up so um, I bought them at 140 and I bought some Jugu Karanga, which initially we used to buy them at 150, now they are 175. And I usually buy this um, basmati rice from the supermarket, which is a bit costly. So today, as I was in the market, I said, why don't I try another kind of rice, maybe from the market, and see if it's as good as the one I buy from the supermarket, you know, the the one we buy from the supermarket that is very good i don't mention the name because i haven't been paid for the ad but um to advertise them so i bought there were two type of uh, basmati rice so i bought this basmati uh, i think this is two kgs yes two kgs basmati i bought two kgs basmati the one type and there is another type also for basmati. They were calling it tamu something. So I bought three kgs. So I'll be trying these two different rice and uh, see the difference. And if they are good, I think I'll be buying from the, from the soko. I won't be buying any more from the supermarket because hey, in Kenya things have really gone up. Yeah? But God is still providing for us, right? I usually oh my cabbage my cabbage i bought this cabbage for 30 shillings but it's very fresh and it's very very fresh uh, i usually and of course i bought bread for my children and i usually buy bananas and uh, some minges but today i was in a hurry you can't believe that i forgot to buy some some bananas but i have a few of bananas remaining remaining in my pantry for the minges i didn't buy minges today because i have a lot of minji in my freezer i'm the kind of person that buys a lot of things and boils and puts in the freezer so when i cook it's easier for me to cook because i have little children i love uh, garlic and ginger but also um, i had bought in plenty but next time when i'm going to buy I'll tag you along because like last time I bought uh, garlic 1 kg uh, that guy from the market he sold to me at 180 per kg so I guess no at 250 ginger 180 and garlic 250 per kg yes yes and uh, we have some kamade yeah I don't know if I if I try and mention that the, the command name in English I know Nitangoa the Kiku in me will know it. Yes. So thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something. This is the way to go when you become a parent. Yes. Thank you for watching and kindly don't forget to subscribe. Yes, don't forget to subscribe and to leave a comment. Thank you.